Here are the latest headlines for November. Rakuten Travel recently held the nationwide Asagohan Festival 2015 to decide the number one breakfast in Japan. This year was the sixth year the festival was held and a record 1,000 entrants participated. At the finals held on November 18, the Hotel La Suite Kobe Harborland was chosen as the lodging providing the best breakfast in Japan. On November 18, Rakuten Ichiba held kickoff events around the country for the year-end Rakuten Supercell. A kickoff event was also held for the first time at the newly opened Rakuten Crimson House, with 459 merchants participating. Consultations with ECCs were held and genre-specific strategies were shared to foster solidarity during the busy holiday sale season. The unity of the merchants and Rakuten could be felt by everyone at the event. On November 21, the 9th Rakuten Technology Conference was held at Rakuten Crimson House. The conference is an international conference organized and run mainly by Rakuten Engineer. In addition to a keynote speech by Miki, many influential minds gave lectures on a wide variety of topics, including artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things. Many engineers from Rakuten Group companies outside Japan, such as Slice and Aquafadas, also came to the conference. Altogether, over 1,100 people visited the conference, filled with creative energy. From October 26 to November 30th, Rakuten Kobo partnered with the charity First Book Canada and the major publisher Penguin Random House Canada to hold the Awesome Project, an initiative to give children in need their first books. In addition to book donations, the Awesome Project had five famous authors read books to children at five elementary schools in southern Ontario, Canada. At the same time, Rakuten Kobo held a campaign where $5 for every book purchased by new Kobo users would be donated to First Book Canada.